When I think of East Cesar Chavez, it is such a destination. So there's so much culture. It's one of my favorite parts of town because there's so many mom and pop restaurants that have been here for years, but there's also so many new places that are popping up. Hi, I'm Jane and I run A Taste of Coco, an Austin-based food and travel blog featuring the hottest restaurants and weekend getaways. What makes East Cesar Chavez cool to me is that I can come here in the morning, grab a cup of coffee, go down the street, get some breakfast tacos with chorizo, which is my personal favorite. And then I can go and hop in line and get barbecue at La Barbecue and have the best brisket and the best ribs in the city. At night, I can come by to Griselda's, get a margarita with queso on the patio with my dog. You won't miss Griselda's because they have these giant pink walls outside, so it's very Instagrammable. You have to get a photo before you go into the restaurant. And then afterwards, hop over to Lester Portal, which is this really cool bar, and just have a beer and hang out with friends. I personally think everybody wants to be on the east side, but I think particularly young working millennials who shop at Whole Foods, who like going to happy hour after work and grabbing a beer or cocktail with a friend or coworker. I think it's very unique that East Cesar Chavez still remains very preserved, but there's so many hidden gems that I feel like people forget about. You know, they forget about the little taco place that has been here for 30 years, and they still make the tortillas from scratch every single morning. If I was a business owner, I would love to open on the east side because it's in close proximity to a lot of things. It's just so convenient. By moving your office here, you have the opportunity to be part of a community that is authentically Austin.